And and basically what what it is it's like uh you know the bottom level here uh it's it's kind of a depiction of hell and the the top level seems like a depiction of heaven uh, you may say and so that's why there's like kind of like fires b uh, bursting and blowing up at the bottom uh, like right here and stuff like that this is what people think they think it's a joke What's up guys, it's Ricky here, thank you very much for checking out this video. Now I wanted to just highlight something for you guys. What you're watching here is a television series from Cambodia and it's a highlight of kind of like where we are right now as a church, as how well we've been communicating our message and everything. While people are busy and dining themselves into all kinds of uh, prosperity gospel and whatnot and all that kind of stuff people in Cambodia have just gone the opposite direction they have a TV show called heaven and hell as you can see this is kind of like the it's a new TV show it's been up I'm not sure how long but this show it's kind of like what the youth nowadays or how people see heaven and hell how people see heaven and hell and this entire story now the funny thing is this is like a tv show where it's almost kind of like a joke you know people if you go back here there is an area where it shows you the kind of game shows that they are doing where people are kind of like being pulled into hell or something like that but it's a tv show it's almost like a mockery of the very idea because people have been playing and you see right there kind of like that right there right there this is the reason why i take such a big issue with people that spread misinformation like this lady here i stood there i just noticed a hand reaching out trying to reach out to the edges of the pit like trying to hold on to the edges so that this person could pull themselves out and then as i looked the, uh, when the person lifted up the hand that's when i realized it was a woman that tried to pull herself up and then she was desperately trying to look like, where else can I hold just to enable me come out? That's when I recognized who she was. It was someone I knew. It was someone I really loved when she was here on earth. We don't know what she experienced. But one thing for sure is this. When she stated that there was this lady in hell. And when she saw her, she was on the side. And she was on the edge right there. Just at the edge trying to pull herself out. It's not really the description of hell, is it? It calls it the bottomless, bottomless pit. There is no edge. And I've stated on the channel, there is a very huge movement that is driving a driving fear into the hearts of believers. When the world sees this fear, what they do is they respond by making it a mockery, as you're seeing in Cambodia happening right now. And this is what they think. You know, this is what they think of everything that we've been trying to communicate from the pure gospel. This is why we have to be clear about the message because the generation that's coming up, when they don't hear the clear of, uh, idea of what we, are, what we are saying, this is what they turn to. They turn to mockery. When it becomes a TV show and stuff like that, this is when it becomes a mockery. This tells you that we are doing a bad job of communicating to them. And so I, I just want to, I would just love to hear what you guys have to say. Even the guys from Cambodia, if they do see this video, this is really, really crazy. Look at this, the glorification of death and whatnot right on their television show. This is crazy. And it, it is a legit TV show. You can actually go check it out online. And this is what happens when the society starts to mock the ideas that Christians have because we have not done a good job of communicating the gospel about these things. It becomes a joke and it becomes something to be mocked.